Hey guys, David here and welcome to this video. If you are bored of just 3D printing models you downloaded from the internet, then you're probably looking for a CAD program. Today I'm gonna show you the best free options out there that are easy to use. Now, for our first case, let's assume you've never touched a CAD program before and you've no clue how to make models in 3D. In that case, you don't want to spend weeks learning a complicated CAD program just to do example simple figures. What you need is a simple CAD program that you can easily learn in 20 minutes. In this field, I can highly recommend Tinkercad. It's an online program, meaning you don't have to install anything, it just runs in your browser. So you just go to a website, create an account, and then everything will be saved in the cloud. And then once you're done modeling your model in the software, you can just download the finished thing. There are also many tutorials for Tinkercad out there, but you don't really need them as the software is so intuitive that you should be able to just figure it out yourself. Just drag and drop all the objects that you want and then resize them, pull them on them, put multiple together to cut them. So it's really easy to figure out. And you can very quickly create some simple but still very useful models. But what if you have already used CAD programs before and you want something that's a little bit more sophisticated? Then there are a lot of different options out there for you. I'm gonna have many of them linked down below, but today I'm just gonna talk about the major tool that I would recommend the most, Onshape and Fusion 360. Onshape is another free online program, but just because it's online doesn't mean that it doesn't have a lot of features. It is loaded with many, many features and is almost as good as Fusion 360. But because it's online, you can access it from any computer and your computer doesn't have to be very powerful. You can just use it online. The only drawback is that in the free version of it, you don't have a lot of space to save your projects and your projects aren't private, meaning that anyone that's looking for it can access it. In order to get more space and make it truly private, you have to go to the paid option, which is way too expensive for anyone just figuring it out. But if you're just creating some simple models and you're not like a company or anything, this won't bother you and nobody's gonna mess up any of your models. Me personally, I use Fusion 360, as it's just what I prefer and what I started out with. It is very similar to Onshape, but it is a dedicated program, so you have to download and install it. But you can also get it for free as long as you earn less than $100,000 a year. And if you make that much money, then the 8 bucks or 10 bucks or whatever it costs a month isn't a big deal to you anyways. I made a dedicated video about how to get it for free up here, because it isn't quite as intuitive to get it. I also made an entire tutorial series on Fusion 360, but I also have linked up here and this is a great way to, to get started as compared to Tinkercad it does take quite a bit more to get started as it isn't quite as intuitive. Now if you aren't just using the CAD program for 3D printing but you also want to do some rendering and maybe some CNC machining then in my opinion Fusion is a lot better than Onshape because it has all those different tools already built in and free to use. In Onshape you can just add extensions to it and they work great as well, but the problem there is that most free extensions have limitations like the amount of renders that you can output per month or the resolution of your renders or it has a watermark or things like that. But if you're just 3D printing and that's all you're going to use the CAD program for, then there's no real reason to go to Fusion. So all in all, we can be really glad that there are so many professional great CAD programs out there that are just free to use. There are many businesses out there that are using Fusion 360 or even Onshape to create the models for actual products. Just not that many years ago, getting a free CAD program that is actually usable would be unthinkable. So what program are you using? You can let me know down in the comments and while you're down there, please consider to also press the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. I also have social media accounts and affiliate links link in the video description along with a lot of other links. So if you want any links, go to the description. And that's it for today. I'm David and thanks for watching. 